Hello everyone, welcome to a video presentation about major components of drilling rig systems. The name of our group is KK Drillers from Drilling Engineering 1 course. Our group members are namely Dario Garin, Manuel Ganda, Freddy Jimboon, Nashri Ghazali, Mauro Marcos and Muhammad Naim. To start off, there are five indispensable systems of a drilling rig which are power system, circulating system, rotary system, hoisting system and well control system. The power system provides all the necessary power to carry out the drilling work. Normally this power is generated from the local combustion generators. The generators are mainly powered by diesel in order to provide electrical power. The main components of a rig power system are prime movers or diesel engines, a large combustion engines that provide power. These are fuel tanks where the fuel is stored, alternator which supplies AC power to the mud motor, transformers responsible for reducing the voltage of the current, and control panel device that monitors the power distribution to the equipment. Circulating system By circulating the drilling mud through the drilling operation, the circulating system has the function of Transporting cuttings to surface, clean the bottom of the hole, cool and lubricate the bit and drill string, support the well bore, balancing the formation pressure, providing hydraulic power of the drill bit, and driving the downhole motor. Its major components are mixing equipment, pits, mud cleaners, and mud pumps. The mixing equipment is used to prepare the drilling mud by mixing mud chemicals and solids through a hopper and by agitating the mixture in mud gun and agitators. Pits are usually a series of large steel tanks, all interconnected and fitted with agitators to maintain the solids, used to maintain the density of the drilling fluid in suspension. Pits might also be used for circulating, mixing and storage of fresh mud. Mud cleaners are equipment used to separate drilling mud from rock cuttings, solids and fluids that might have been added to drilling mud during the drilling operation. Mud cleaners equipment includes shell shaker, sand trap, degasser, desander, desilter, mud cleaner, centrifuge, and cutting dryer. If using oil-based mud, cutting dryer is used to recover the mud before the dumping of cuttings. A mud pump is a reciprocating piston or plunger device designed to circulate drilling fluid under high pressure down the drill string and back up the annulus. Rotary System the function of the rotary system is to transmit rotation to the drill string and rotate the bit. During drilling operation, this rotation is to the right. The main parts of the rotary system are swivel, rotary hose, kelly, rotary drive, rotary table, and drill string. The swivel establishes a connection between hook and kelly. Thus, the swivel has to be constructed extremely robust since it has to carry the total drill string weight and at the same time provide a high pressure seal. The Kelly has a square cross section and provide the rotation of the drill string. Since the Kelly is made of high quality treated steel, it is an expensive part of the drill string. A rotary hose is a flexible steel reinforced high pressure hose that connects the stain pipe to the kelly and allow free vertical movement of the kelly while facilitating the flow of the drilling fluid through the system and down the drill string. The rotary drive consists of master pushing and kelly pushing. The master pushing receives its rotational momentum from the compound and drive the kelly pushing which is turns transfer the rotation to the kelly. A rotary table is a precision work positioning device used in metalworking. 
is enable the operator to drill or cut work at exact into a round of face at this. A drill string on the drilling rig is a column or string of drill pipe that transmit drilling fluid and torque to the drill bit. The term is loosely applied to the assembly collection of the drill pipe, drill collars, tools, and drill bit. The main function of the hoisting system is to lift or lower casing or drill pipe to drill a well. Its main components are traveling block and crown block, draw works, derrick, and substructure. The traveling blocks and crown block do the vertical movement to the pipe. People working on the derrick assist to safely place the pipe to the right position. The draw works mainly support the lifting activities and helps the replacement of the drilling line when it is subjected to wearing. Derrick or mast provides the vertical height necessary for the hoisting system to rise and lower the pipe. The substructure provides height for blowout preventer stack and provides direct flow space for pipe setback and people to work safely. Well control system has the function of controlling the movement of fluids into or from a well and also preventing an unintentionally release of formation fluid and gases from the well to its surrounding. There are three main components involved in well control system. The first one is well heat. The second one is blowout preventers or known as BOP. The last one is Christmas tree. The well heat has the function of suspending the casing and tubing string containing and isolating the pressure of the tabular string. It also provides interface connection with the BOP Christmas tree and tie back. The BOP is a large valve located at the top of a well. BOP may be closed if the drilling crew loses control of the function fluids. By closing this valve, the drilling crew can regain back control of the reservoir and procedures can then be initiated to increase the mud density until it is possible to open the BOP and retain pressure control of the formation. Christmas tree is a series of gate valves that regulate the flow of the fluid from the well or into the well. Its main purpose is to control the fluid movements from the well bore. It also provides a possibility of shutting down the well and it also provides a means of entering the well for servicing and work over. Created using Powtoon.